There are several good internet speed test sites, but for this video, we are going to be using the UCLA website, which on a Google search takes you to speedtest.net. When I hit the large go button, it shows that my internet is running at 20 megabits per second. I will be moving how soon, so I have not upgraded the broadband, but even now it is a little slow. My line is slow in general as it hasn't been upgraded in several years, so I can show you some simple changes via the command line. The first element to use is ping, which is a good test of your response times. You can leave this running using minus T, and the target is Google's DNS server. It is a useful metric for your connectivity. The second command is going to check the adapters on your laptop, so this will include interfaces such as Ethernet and wireless. The command is netshow, interface, IPv4, show, sub-interfaces. I will put this command in the description. In the output, it does reveal a useful value called the MTU, or maximum transmission unit. My laptop is currently set at 520 for Wi-Fi and Ethernet, but this ideally should be set at the MTU of your router. I will show you how to check the MTU on your router shortly. One thing I forgot to tell you that when you are going to check the interfaces with the netshow command, you must run as administrator by right mouse clicking on the command prompt. The following commands will all be run as admin. Just to confirm again, run the same command as previously and check that the MTU for the required interfaces. Understandably, you will all have different routers in your home to connect to the internet, so I will show you my internet router and where to find the MTU. An IP config on the command prompt will show the default gateway. I use this IP address to connect via a browser and it shows that my internet is provided by Sky. On the wireless page, it shows my SSID, channel and security such as WPA2. I am looking for the MTU, which I believe is on the advanced page. There it is, it is set to 1500 bytes. What we need to check next by using the ping command, is to check the size of the packets at which your router allows to be sent. Again, using the command line, issue the ping command with a minus F setting, which means do not fragment the packets below the issued size. The minus L is for the maximum packet size you are sending. I'll start at 1492. It doesn't fragment at this size, so I will lower the value to 1482. As you can see, this again doesn't fragment, so we will lower this again by 10 bytes and see the result. We now get a reply at 1472, so this is a good size. I will now up the value by 1 byte at a time to see when it reaches the fragment level. We can see 1473 is now too large. We do not want our packets to go to the internet, being fragmented as it increases overhead and complexity. So we need to make the change to match the router MTU of 1500. The following command will set the Wi-Fi interface to 1500. The command for this is written in the description below, but pause the video to copy if needed. By checking the sub-interfaces again, we now see the Wi-Fi interface is set to 1500. Go back to the speed test website now and see if there has been any change. Hit go, and let's hope we can see some increase. Straight away, there has been an increase to 30 meg per second, which for my slow line is actually impressive. For those of you with lines over 500 meg per second, you may not be getting the best out of your line, so try this. What have you got to lose, and it must be configured on all of your laptops. Thanks for watching this G-Man video on a simple change that will improve your internet. Like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you again real soon.